Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Uh, I'm just walking out of the Vida Skramska building from campus. Uh, we just had our midterm uh, exam or presentation that went really well. So I, in the past I have been interviewing people uh, for, for the thesis and yeah, this uh, has been going quite well. And uh, I thought it would be a good chance because now it's also kind of sunny again, so winter has passed a bit to show you guys a bit of the campus. So I'm just going to be walking on campus to where I usually sit at the office. It's a co-working space that is uh, situated here in Solna. So just walking up the street, uh, yeah, I'm walking past, uh, what is it called, Widerströmska. And on the other side, we see the Silat building. It's a joint research building between Karolinska, the Technical University and Stockholm University. So a lot of biotech research group are sitting there and biotech companies actually spin out of, of these research groups as well. When I just walk up a street on my left side is actually the, I think it's called Public Health Ministry of Sweden. It's super hidden and it's just on campus as well. And I think I'm gonna take a detour here to show you guys the Alamedica and also Biomedicum. Um, I think the very famous building that one always sees when one search for the campus here. And uh, yeah, one thing also, the, there are two campuses for Karolinska Instituted. So we are here in the north of the city and there's another one south in the city where also the hospital or the bigger part of the hospital is. Yeah, I'm standing in between Ala Medicum and Biomedicum. Uh, Biomedicum is a research building and on the right is the biggest auditorium here where also the Nobel Prize is held. Let's have a look inside. All right, now I'm kind of standing right on the bridge between the site where the campus is, the Karolinska Instituted. And if we turn around, you can see the other side is where the hospital is with uh, their research building and then also the new hospital building um, there. Yeah, and then also in the back, you can see uh, there are like those two towers that are quite iconic for this area, but also the round building, which is uh, the newly opened Foschgarten where uh, a lot of big companies are now moving in uh, with a life science focus and also uh, yeah, like big pharma companies are in this area as well. So the, the whole area is very life science focused and um, all the companies and institutions are located here. By the way, they are building a new subway station here and a new line that will be connected to the central station of Stockholm, hence the, the construction site here. So there you can see the bus, they're called the Pendelbissen, that takes the student and staff from Solna campus to the other campus. And I think um, the bus takes around 20 to 30 minutes from one campus to the other. And it's definitely the faster way to, to commute between the campuses. And for me, uh, I'll be heading to the office. So we're sitting in a building called Inomedicum, it's a co-working space with uh, also a lab to, for hire for companies, startups and spin-offs from Karolinska and also external. I have to go this way. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a really, really nice campus. It's a, with a lot of old buildings, but also the flashier ones, the new ones. Uh, on, on behind me, the Alamedica, for example, and all the older buildings are now most, mostly uh, being renovated for companies to use. There you go, this is the building where we are sitting and the nice thing is also in front of it, there's always some taco trucks or food trucks providing food, lunch for, for people. All right, I'm standing in front of the building, my, our office. Uh, yeah, behind me, that's the library over there with the restaurant right now and also the gym and um, the Inomedicum building with the co-working space and then also behind me again, the Alamedica with the food truck in front of it. Well, as for the thesis, um, 
since we are just having or we just had our midterm it means we're almost halfway through or we are halfway through and most people have their results preliminary results already but everything uh, before that in terms of introduction methods and also the literature that people use is more or less fixed and uh, it means we still have around one and a half months time to write the thesis uh, and yeah to, to really work uh, on the topics of our choice and um, in May we'll be graduating and have our ceremony already so the time really flies anyway if you enjoyed this video give it a like and if you have any questions uh, you can ask them in the comments and otherwise please check out our blog and uh, you can also email us if you have any queries see you in the next video